Hi, everyone. Welcome to this WealthManagement.com Fast Chat. I'm David Armstrong. Today, I'm joined by Tom Chard, who is the CEO of North America for FNZ. Tom, thanks very much for joining us. Thanks for having me, David. So earlier this year, uh, FNZ raised, I think, $1.4 billion uh, from CPP Investment and Motive Partners, I think one of the largest ever primary capital raises in the wealth management space. Uh, You're currently expanding your operations here in North America. Can you tell us just a little bit about what uh, FNZ does and, and why you're here? Yeah, sure. Thanks, David. So FNZ, we are a wealth management platform business. We've been in business globally for the last 18 years. We're founded out of New Zealand uh, and now provide our, our service in 21 different countries. Uh, so we've expanded pretty rapidly uh, globally in, in over the last 18 years, having just recently entered into the US in 2021. But what we do is we provide a holistic end-to-end wealth management technology solution that is always paired up with our investment administration and back office operations capability as well. So that unique combination of technology and investment administration on a BPO basis is what we refer to as platform as a service. And we take that as a holistic solution out to our customers to then be able to provide uh, investment advice solutions for financial advisors um, and, and their end clients. Like I said, we do that today in 21 countries, we support now just over one and a half trillion US dollars worth of assets across our, across our platform. Um, and that, that business model has really kind of enabled our, um, with a lowering of cost in, in financial services, uh, specifically in the wealth and asset management segment, which has been a big part of why we were founded. So what's happening in the US market uh, and how do you uh, anticipate helping? So we were always intending on coming into the, the US. It's been a uh, a long journey to get here. I think really the the size of the US market is what's been almost an inhibitor for us coming in, but also why now coming in, it's so attractive. I think, you know, the firms that we're partnering with here have trillions and trillions of US dollars of, of assets under management or advisement. And when we were such a small firm, uh, you know, even, even say five or six years ago, coming into the US would have been uh, an undeniable challenge, whereas now we've reached a bit of an inflection point as to um, our own maturity to be able to service some of the firms and, and assets out here in the US. So the, the size factor has been um, uh, really fantastic for us. Very excited about it. It's definitely the largest market that we operate in, largest wealth market in the world. So we see a massive amount of opportunity. I think in general, the, the market dynamics for us are, are actually very beneficial as well. There's a lot of really legacy technology currently supporting uh, a lot of the wealth management ecosystem and segment, we see an opportunity to be able to help fix that. And, and lastly, because of that legacy technology uh, baseline or footprint, there's a massive amount of fragmentation in what I would call niche services. And you know, we, we're starting to see lots of firms trying to consolidate or acquire different components of that and bring it all into a single integrated ecosystem. It's a very challenging path to go down. And we're very fortunate that from the outset, we have always been a, a very holistic end-to-end wealth management platform business. One of the things FNC did was acquire the custodial business of State Street, renamed that FNC Trust, and FNC just made an announcement with InvestNet to provide custodial services for that TAMP. Can you tell us a little bit about your announcement with InvestNet and what you'll be doing for them? So we partnered with InvestNet for a variety of different reasons. I mean, fundamentally, there's a lot of... Um, uh, Complements between our technology stack. FNZ is very, very strong in the core back office, market infrastructure, client infrastructure, part of the wealth ecosystem, including custody. Um, InvestNet has a massive client base today and has really been focused on sort of the front to middle component of the, the, the value chain there, particularly with portfolio management, their TAMP managed accounts business and the advisor and client ecosystem. So in conversations with InvestNet, we thought there was a natural fit between our, our businesses to be able to provide a end-to-end wealth management platform, similar to what I just described earlier, um, with InvestNet you know, focusing on what they're very good at and FNZ focusing on what we're very good at and being able to provide a holistic end-to-end wealth service to their existing RIA and broker-dealer clients as well as um, uh, the rest of the US market. So, Tom, if you could just pull the lens back a little bit and describe maybe what you see as some of the larger trends in the wealth management sector in the U.S. Perfect. So, 
We're seeing lots of uh, trends in consolidation. We've seen it, like I, like I mentioned earlier, there's massive amount of market fragmentation. I focused earlier on the technology fragmentation, but really there's a fragmentation of advice in general. So we've seen a lot of RIAs and RIA consolidation in general over the last um, last couple of years, and I expect that to continue, particularly given the environment we're heading into. One of the other fundamental trends that we're seeing is the demand for personalized investment advice. So there's a far greater degree of clients who are seeking personalization in the advice they receive, the way that their assets are managed, whether that's with a sustainability or ESG lens or different investment constraints or tax optimization, et cetera. And so technology is going to become a really important component of that for how advisors are going to be able to meet the demands of those clients, especially given you know, that's generally complex to do. Um, and we have a shortage of financial advisors in general. So in order to enable advisors to actually provide um, more advice in a more challenging way, you need to be able to give them the tools to be able to do that in a, in a more digital fashion. You picked an interesting time to come into the U.S. Uh, uh, equity markets are wobbly. We have uh, interest rates rising. Uh, there's a lot of uncertainty out there around the macroeconomic factors. Uh, you know, what impact do you think that will have on your rollout in the U.S.? It'll definitely have an impact, but I don't expect that to be a, a particularly negative impact at all, actually, David. So, you know, we've seen these types of uh, wobbly macro environments in basically every other country that we've expanded into, whilst we've expanded into some of them as well at the same time. So, it's not an unfamiliar uh, territory for us. I think generally as well, in environments where we're either experiencing recessionary pressures or actually in, in recession itself, Typically, our, our customers or firms that we would partner with focus more on um, digital solutions, cost efficiency, and that actually drives them to generally want to do more business with firms like F&Z. And we've benefited from that in the past. Um, so I think it'll have an, an impact, but it's, um, it's, it's not something that's going to slow us down in our North American expansion. Well, that's fantastic. Uh, Tom, thanks very much for uh, uh, joining us uh, for this fast chat. I think we're going to be hearing a lot about FNC uh, in the coming year. So thanks a lot for joining us. Tom Chard, uh, North American CEO of FNC. Thanks, David.